So basically it's saying, are you able to bear fruit? You know, um, let me go back to the script. Are you able to bear fruit? Because every man in this truth has different talents. You know, some will bring forth many, much fruit. Some will bring forth uh, less fruit, you see. Um, so we all have our lot, even in this truth, as, as the, the hopefully elect, all right? But we know that the wicked, hey, nothing comes forward from those branches, you see? Nothing, all right? This is uh, verse 16. The weed growing upon every water and bank of a river shall be pulled up before all grass. Bountifulness is as most fruitful is as a most fruitful garden, and mercifulness endureth forever. God, because that the mercy that Yahweh is going to show the elect is going to endure forever. You know, if you're in that number. Eighteen to labor and to be content. With that a man hath is a sweet life, but he that findeth a treasure is above them both. And so it's, it's okay to work and be content. You know, that's a good life. But basically the treasure is what? Is the truth. All right? So if you found this truth, that's, that's even better than going to work every day and having enough money to pay your bills and to get through, you know. He's saying this treasure is above them both. All right? Children in the building of a city continue a man's name, but a blameless wife is counted above them both. <coughs> so, you know, you're fortunate if you have a blameless wife, you know, while you're in this truth, you're able to teach her, you know. And it says it's better than even building a city or even your children, you know. That's why men, you know, you have, a, you have so much love for your children, but when you have a blameless wife... You know, how does that love, it, how is that love exceeded? You know, she's your helper, you know. Verse 20, wine and music rejoice the heart. <coughs> Go up higher. Wine and music rejoice the heart, but the love of wisdom is above them both. All right, so it's okay to feel, feel nice with some wine and some music. But hey, your tongue, a pleasant tongue. Meaning really reciting these scriptures, you know, that's the most pleasant thing that your tongue can can uh, say, you know, or your mouth. Verse 22, thine eye desireth favor and beauty, but more than both corn while it is green. A friend and companion never meet amiss, but, a, but above both is a wife with her husband, right? So yeah, you could have good friends, good good companions, and good companion is someone you travel with. But um, you know, like we say, a blameless wife is uh, is even above a, a good friend. You know, although we do we do uh, we do know that the men of this truth are. Um, you know, those those are the main focus of the elect. You know, we want to edify the brethren, you know. Verse 24. Brethren and help are against time of trouble, but alms shall deliver more than them both. So your brethren and, the, and those that help you, that, that's good in, when you're in trouble, when you need help. But praise is what alms means, and that's even more important. Verse uh, 25, gold and silver make the foot stand sure, but counsel is esteemed above them both, all right? And what we know that the uh, stability of thy times of that, and the, these times that we're coming into, you know, the most important thing, the stability is going to be the knowledge, the wisdom, the truth, all right? Above money, and, you know, above gold and silver, you see? So, <clears throat> um... Let me get that real quick. I think it's Isaiah 33 and 6. I think Isaiah 33, 6. Maybe I'm wrong. Let's see. Isaiah 33, 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, and the strength of salvation, the fear of... Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem is his treasure. So you're going into that treasure, you see? The wisdom and the knowledge is the treasure. You know, we just read above 
um, what was it in uh, Ecclesiasticus? It was, it was um, <clears throat> verse 18 is what it was. We'll go back up. To labor and to be content with that a man hath is a sweet life, but he that findeth a treasure is above them both. And what is that treasure? It's just truth. You know, let's go back. Isaiah 33, 6. The fear of the Lord it is his treasure. You see, at the bottom of that verse, verse 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of Yahweh is his treasure. You see? <clears throat> um, we go where we left at. 25 or what, no, I'm sorry Ecclesiasticus 40 25 it says gold and silver make the foot stand sure but the counsel is esteemed above them all or but counsel is esteemed above them all so we just showed you the wisdom and knowledge is the stability of thy times. So your gold and silver is not going to be able to save you in these last days in this Jacob's trouble. When this, uh, this devil comes down on us hard with his vaccines and his microchips, you know, you're going to you're gonna have to have some type of wisdom, stability. And that's what it's going to be. Your gun is not going to save you. They'll shoot you down, you know. The military that will be, uh, you know, enforcing martial law in America. Babylon, all right? So, <clears throat> a good counsel is esteemed above them both. So, what's the counsel? The counsel is of the truth, you know? We, you know, we may get word one day, hey, we have to go off the grid, you know, to avoid being persecuted. But then, hey, if, if, you, if they catch you, you just have to take it like a man. You're not going to fight Esau. You're just going to let him take you and do as he pleases because whatever he does to you, he's going to he's going to mark himself um, like uh, like Cain did when he killed Abel. All right. He's going to have a mark on him for that. For, for, for when he when Esau eat him, the wicked puts hands on the prophets. It's going to be a huge offense. And Yahweh is going to, you know, be our vengeance. Um. Verse 26, riches and strength lift up the heart, but the fear of Yahweh is above them both. See, so it's better to be, um, have fear of this truth, knowledge of this truth, fearing Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem. You know, it's better than being rich and it's better being, you know, physically strong, you know. Verse 27, the fear of Yahweh is a fruitful garden and covereth him above all glory. You see, this truth is the most beautiful thing on the planet, you know. And that's what's going to be your defense in that day, is this truth. You know, verse 28, my son, lead not a beggar's life, for better it is to die than to beg. Alright, so you never want to be in a situation where you're begging for things, you know. That's not the... That's not the uh, setup that Yahweh has, has uh, you know, set you up to be. Uh, verse 29. The life of him that dependeth on another man's table is not to be counted for a life. For he polluteth himself with other men's meat. But a wise man, well nurtured, will be aware thereof. Alright. So, yeah, you gotta be, you, you can't be a burden, you know. You, you, you're you going to pollute yourself if you rely on someone else to take care of you, you know. Um, verse 30. And, you know, we are in captivity. So some of us are, you know, we, we may be in situations where we need help from other people. There's nothing wrong with that. But you just don't want, you know, to the point where you're just depending 100% on someone for you to get by. You know, that's what pollutes you. Begging, the verse 30, begging is sweet in the mouth of the shameless, but in his belly there shall burn a fire. All right? See? So at the end of the day, even when you're getting, you know, free things when you're begging, at the end of the day, it's burning up in your belly, man. You, you know? It's hard to stomach that, you know? So this is just some miscellaneous uh, proverbs. 
out of Ecclesiasticus. Um, but with that, I want to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Harakakodash. Double honors goes out to the elder apostles of Great Millstone for teaching us this truth. And I also always want to acknowledge all the Akiyam pushing this truth with sincerity, all right? Shalom to the elect.